PAD or peripheral artery disease is essentially means you know again blockage of the arteries mainly we are talking about the arteries of the lower extremities leg arteries that is what we mean by peripheral arteries so leg arteries they get blocked again by the same process hardening of the artery due to build up of cholesterol plaque and calcium and everything builds up in your artery this is again a, either a process of aging but certainly brought on by smoking diabetes is a risk factor hypertension is a risk factor and of course you know uh, we am sure there are also genetic factors that we have not completely uh, we can explain completely because we do have people who do not smoke who do not have diabetes who get blockage in our, their arteries the problem is a lot of these patients with symptoms are mistaken for arthritis patients will say oh, every time i try to walk i have some pain in my legs and so but these are elderly people and so people mis may mistake them for arthritis and just ask them to take aspirin or something like that it is very important to ask the typical symptom of the patient the typical symptom of blockage in the arteries of the leg is that every time the patient walks he has to stop after a certain distance let's say he can walk one block he would say a year ago i used to walk two blocks and no problem three blocks now in the last six months i can only walk one block and i have to stop because my calves cramp up my legs cramp up and i have to stop that's very classic for artery sclerosis or peripheral artery disease and it is always constant because the block doesn't come one day and go away the next day so the patient says it's very constant it's very consistent so he says every time i do that i have to stop when i stop i feel better i go so this is a this is called claudication which essentially means in latin it means limp <laughs> so in other words the patient has to limp to start walking so this is so once anyone who has this symptom you shouldn't be just uh, brushed off as arthritis that he's old and other thing one should look for pulses and look uh, examine if he has arterial disease because if he does have arterial disease then we can follow him as i said again risk risk factor modification is very important a lot of these patients actually they think that every time they walk they get the pain so they become couch potatoes they don't exercise anymore they don't walk anymore they just sit thinking that they're going to harm their legs or it is the other way we actually would like them to exercise as much as possible just by walking a lot of these patients about 20 to 30% of these patients can improve their symptoms and so and of course if it starts getting worse then we have methods to treat this we can do either bypass nowadays we can do balloon angioplasty if the artery is narrowed we can pass a wire or which we can pass a balloon and open it up and then put a stent just like we can put a stent in the heart arteries it's called stenting and angioplasty and stenting if it is extremely severely blocked and it can be done we have methods to do bypass we can do a bypass from the healthy area above the block to healthy area beyond the block and uh, this is how we can save the limbs because if there is no adequate circulation what happens even a small trivial trauma like even cutting a nail sometimes and if you injure it it may not heal and particularly if one is a diabetic patient clearly it is a bad diabetes and peripheral artery disease are two bad combinations and what happens the patients can progress on to develop gangrene which means death of the tissue and can lose the limb you know they end up with amputation so this is another area where it is very important to pick the presence of arterial disease before the catastrophe happens